Hello Internet, it's me, Arthur, from Calvin the Triangle, and I'm here to talk about a tie. It's rainbow. Because I'm sick of all my serious videos, honestly, I'm starting to bum myself out. Uh, this is a tie. It's a rainbow tie, and I'm going to tell you all sorts of stories about it. Um, this tie. I was only a, like about a year into kind of feeling transgender when I bought it. It's the first time I really, I admitted to a stranger, I'm like, hey, I was raised a girl, but I don't feel like a girl, and I said that to a stranger. Just a random guy, and it was this huge thing for me. My friend Carly was there, and he taught me how to tie it. And you tie it like this, right? Here's the big end. It's gonna confuse me looking at the inverted video. You take the big end, put it over this, the littler end, pinch that, put the big end back around there so it's coming out. Do you see what I'm doing there? This is the most confusing thing ever for me. You wrap it back around, and you put it through your neck. Um, it's okay to use your mouth to hold that. You kind of, you put the tip through, you see where my fingers are, where you pinch to begin with? You put it through that little pocket, and you pull it. you tighten it. See my tie? Pretty I am. Pretty, pretty. Not just pretty. I'm gorgeous and I'm handsome and I'm confused as shit. Um, or at least I was when I bought this. Um, and it was the first thing that really, first item of clothing, my first male item, male item of clothing in here. Like Arthur. It's a rainbow. It's not male at all. It's totally gender. That's totally androgynous. And then you're like, well, Arthur, you you wore this with a tight T-shirt and a, and, a, and a black skirt. You might not say that because you might not know that, but I did, and it was my compromise with myself, um, trying to be someone I'm not. But I love this tie, and it was this tie that made my first friend at my newer high school come up and talk to me because and invite me to join the GSA purely based on a tie is kind of shallow, but it's a nice tie. Um, and I did, and that led to my first public coming out as, um, as a genderqueer. And I met my current boyfriend, I believe, while wearing this tie. I don't remember what I was wearing, but it was probably at some time involved with this tie. This tie is my favorite tie. I own a lot of ties, or I own two ties, and I hope to someday own a lot of ties. This will always be my favorite tie, even if my mom hates it. My mom hates everything that makes me look male. Everything. Even if it doesn't. Everything. Um, and even if I do get made fun of for being gay, and even if they do look like suspenders from some show, some guy wore rainbow suspenders, I don't know. My mom keeps mentioning it every time I wear it. And even if I own a million ties, this will always be my favorite little tie. That's, that's my tie story. Now you know. I thought I had more to say about it, but I don't. Goodbye, YouTube.